We've learned that public school students possess First Amendment free speech rights at schools. In the Barnett and Tinker decisions, the United States Supreme Court protected the right of public school students to opt out of the Pledge of Allegiance and to wear black peace armbands at school. However, in the 1980s, the United States Supreme Court cut back on the amount of student free speech protection. One of those decisions was Hazelwood School District versus Kuhlmeyer. It involved the ability of school administrators to censor speech in a student newspaper if the school principal felt that articles in the newspaper were inappropriate. At Hazelwood East High School, Principal Robert Eugene Reynolds was upset at two articles that appeared in the edition of the paper. One article dealt with the impact of divorce upon teens. Another article dealt with teen pregnancy. Principal Reynolds simply felt that those articles were inappropriate for a student audience. Three students, including lead plaintiff Kathy Kuhlmeyer, objected and felt that their First Amendment rights were violated. They contacted the ACLU and they filed a lawsuit in federal court. That case went all the way up to the United States Supreme Court. Writing for a five-member majority, Justice White wrote, quote, educators do not offend the First Amendment by exercising editorial control over the style and content of school-sponsored expressive activities as long as their reasons for doing so are reasonably related to legitimate pedagogical or educational concerns. Essentially what this means is that school officials have broad power to censor school-sponsored student expression as long as they can come up with a legitimate reason for doing so. Many free speech advocates feel that the Hazelwood decision gives too much power to school administrators and provides too little freedom to public school students. That partially explains why an anti-Hazelwood movement arose, where different states have passed laws that provide greater free speech protection to students than the United States Supreme Court offered in the Hazelwood decision.